Hey YouTube, what's up? This is MaxiDog here showing you a tutorial on how to mod Yuri's Revenge infantry units. Um, vehicles and buildings will be in different videos when I get done with those. <laughs> Alright, so first thing you want to do is download XCC Mixer from the video description at the bottom. And um, once you click that, just open their webpage and click the XCC Mixer and save it to your desktop or any place you can access it um, quickly. So, after that, as XCC Mixer is done downloading, head over to the place wherever you saved it to. Mine's at the desktop. Double click XCC Mixer. Open that up. And once it's done opening, head over to C drive here. Double click it. and search for wherever your RA2 directory is at mine is uh, where is it mine is in program files and EA games Command and Conquer first decade Command and Conquer Red Alert 2 RA2 directory right here Okay, once you find your directory, look for the mix files and search for RA2MD and over to the right side you will see something that says local.md. Okay, so you found local.md, that's the file that we're going to use to mod Yuri's Revenge. So head over to the left side again, go back to RA2MD, open that file up, and find local.md. Right click it, open it again, and a whole list of things pops up for local.md. Just ignore it. Scroll down till you see the .ini fi files with text in the type middle column. This is where all the modding happens here. And what we're going to be using for infantry is rules.md right here. Right click it. What you want to do is extract it to the easiest place where you can reach it. Des desktop is my best bet for me. Um, just save it as rules.md and one is, once that is done and just minimize the screen head over to rules.md and open it up alright once this is done opening what you want to do. Well, first off, rules MD pretty much controls the whole game. Infantry, units, vehicles, buildings, everything. So, once this opens up, come on, work with me. Alright, so, what you want to do is go ahead and find Control F find the allied units. What we're going to do is modify the GI for the allies. So we are going to search for Allied infantry, and we're going to find it. Right here we go, down to Allied infantry. We're just going to scroll down up till we see the Allied GI. This is pretty much what makes the GI what it is. 
um, the names, category, what it's in, what its primary weapon is, what its secondary weapon is, um, pretty much anything. Um, let's see, what we're going to do is going to lower the cost for the GI. We can lower this to, I don't know, say 50 bucks, because I'm cheap like that. <laughs> and let's see, we could make the speed really fast. We can make the speed, say, 10 up until 4, like he used to be. We can also change his primary weapon, too. Just look for, I don't know, let's go down and see if we can find a, another primary weapon for the GI. Let's go with the Rocketeer's primary weapon, the 20mm. So we're going to take this, we're going to copy it, scroll all the way back up to the GI, and we are going to place it from M60 to 20 mm. So now he has the weapon of a Rocketeer as a GI. So yeah, very simple, straightforward mod for your Razor Bench. So all you have to do now is open up your Razor Bench, test out the GI, see if his speed's a little faster than before, and see if he costs 50 bucks. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys like my video. Make sure to comment and rate and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully there should be some more videos on the units for allies. And, yep. Yeah, talk to you guys later.